Close to 3,000 children have been separated from their parents at the border, and that's just since the Trump administration started its zero-tolerance policy back in May. NBC News reports as the conflicts deepens, Austin City Council members want to see what's happening for themselves. The mayor and the city council, some members, were invited to tour a tent city built to house thousands of kids in Tornillo, which is south of El Paso. Many council members are going to be hitting the road today to take that tour. Chris Davis joining us from City Hall this morning with the latest. Good morning, Chris. Well, good morning, John and Gigi. Right now, the mayor and at least seven city council members are planning to leave City Hall behind. They will head to West Texas today and tomorrow to meet up with the U.S. Conference of Mayors to go on this tour of that tent city in Tornillo. Now, take a look at some of these pictures from that tent city. It's set up on federal land right there at uh, the border. Right now, it's set up with 360 beds, but Republican Representative Will Hurd from Texas says it can hold up to 4,000 if necessary. Now, the cost, according to NBC News, $775 per person per day. That's $5 million a month for a 400-person tent city. That's far more than using existing permanent federal facilities and detention centers. Both of those other options cost less than half of these temporary tent cities. Meanwhile, members of Congress are trying to work out a deal to stop the practice of separating kids from their parents. Heard told CNN the immigration system needs a bigger overhaul, but he wants to see short-term action to put a stop to the Trump administration's current policy. Uh, I think it's a little ridiculous uh, that we have to legislate that you shouldn't take kids from their mommies. Um, this is something that we should, you know, we should in intrinsically know uh, that shouldn't happen. Now, only council member Ellen Troxclair has said that she can't go on this trip, and that's because it's short notice to try to find child care for her nine-week-old. Her office tells KXAN that she's going to rely on her colleagues to provide her details of this tent city. So far, we are also still waiting to hear back from council members uh, Orin, uh, Ora Houston and Ann Kitchen, but everyone else that we've heard from has confirmed that they're going to be going to tour this tent city. So far, state leaders have been mostly silent on this. We'll send it back to you. All right, Chris, thank you very much. The Associated Press reports that the youngest of these separated children, babies and toddlers, are being sent to special shelters that there are at least three of them. They're tender age shelters, as they call them. There's one in Brownsville, Raymondville, and also another one in Combs. The government, the federal government, that is, wants to open a fourth shelter, but Houston... Mayor Sylvester Turner says he doesn't want the shelter in his city. Turner says the family separations are wrong and that the city would slow walk any of the permits they would need to open one.